The motion to pay tribute was presented by Prime Minister Rubina Nabanja. It was seconded by Acting Leader of Opposition in Parliament, Muanga Chivumbi, who is also Butambala County Member of Parliament. Aware that uh, Her Majesty transformed the British Empire from a colonial group of countries to a commonwealth of independent and equal states, and through her reign, played an important uh, unifying role that uh, reinforced the links by which the Commonwealth joins people together across the globe. I'd like to join you, colleagues, in extending our sincere sympathy and heartfelt condolences to the royal family, the people of the United Kingdom, upon the passing of an icon of the British monarchy. The Queen made multiple concessions in the modern era. She demonstrated formidable ability to adopt to the changing times with a high sense of duty, goodwill, and professionalism. Parliament dedicated 30 minutes to pay tribute to the Queen. MPs praised her for being an exemplary, courageous, and a distinguished leader and her sense of fashion. A lady of class and fashion, and yet she was so humble and loving. She was an inspiration to all, especially women in leadership. She was an environmentalist. Her leadership qualities that we learned from her, she, from the time she ascended to the throne in, as, at a very young age of 25 years, she showed maturity, character, determination, and commitment of the highest order, which has made her one of the longest reigning monarchs in the world. She was an advocate for the rule of law and human rights. How I wish that we use this morning week, and I, I, I hereby urge government to, to use the same week of mourning and pardon political prisoners. Alian Nabanja signed a condolence book at the British High Commission in Kamocha, Kampala. The Prime Minister was received by the British High Commissioner to Uganda, Kate Airy. Um, so, I know, I don't worry, I'm calm. I promise I'm calm. Yeah, and I think we have tried to... She extended her sympathy and prayers to the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth Fraternity upon the death of Her Royal Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. Nabanja said the Queen's dedicated leadership of over 70 years will forever be remembered. British High Commissioner to Uganda, Kate Airy, appreciated the Prime Minister's condolence message. Heston Munanura, CTV, PM Edition.